you guys are representing for the academy right now. Can we just turn round and look at look at your back? Woo! Very nice. <laughs> All right. So tell us about your involvement here this evening. Yeah. Well, I'm just a model. I was just hired today to come and uh, represent. Uh, you know, um, I know Amanda and the Fashion TV. So I came down, I had to be here, and I hope everybody has a great night. Um, I've got a team of about 35 different hair and makeup artists. Um, I have a massive team, which rolls across London Fashion Week, also within my training academy. So um, these days, I think we're just, you know, friends of friends, other makeup artists that work with us to actually bring other makeup artists in. I think it's sort of just growing where, you know, they come to us, really. Can you just tell us about how you, how you became to meet Lan, because she's self-taught, and it's not like many people who Lan, will teach Lan also. Lan is one of my most amazing artists, and she's one of my most favorite artists. I think only Lan can do what Lan does, and the way that Lan actually does makeup is just unbelievable. There is a lot of girls and a lot of, a lot of students out there would love to work with Lan, um, because she just has this reputation, she has this style that is so different to anything that you can actually see out there. She's very individual, and she's really creative. And when we actually designed the book, Makeup is Art, it really came from Lan, Lan's heart. Because you know when makeup, when Lan would turn around and say Makeup is Art, that's how Lan actually expresses the way she does makeup. It is art. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone tonight. It's been absolutely amazing. It's so overwhelming to have so many creatives in the one room that all support each other and really believe that makeup is an art. I mean, You've actually got yourself here through your own merit. You climbed the fashion ladder. You didn't go to university. You did it all by yourself. Tell us about that journey. The journey was all about being the right place at the right time. I was very lucky um, for most of my uh, situations, but it was hard work because I haven't taken the normal route as a makeup artist. Um, I literally fell into it. One day, someone said, here's some brushes do some work, you look like somebody could do makeup, you paint. And I was like, okay. You know, I remember like the very first day I started makeup and I was sweating, I was so nervous. But the one bit that really inspired me was when my customer said to me, oh my God, I look amazing and started crying. You so cried? Then, yeah, she started crying, I was crying. I was like, oh my God, I can't do makeup. And then it took me about five years before I actually started believing in myself that I could make a difference, that I could, change you know the industry and actually do it on my own merit because so many people say oh you can't do this it's impossible and I'm like nothing's impossible and today I'm here at the launch of the AOFM book and I'm loving it and actually I do have a picture in the book as well which is amazing and I'm so proud of myself and what do you think about the book tell us about your contribution um, well, I have my makeup done on one of the models which is published in the book. This part of the book. And um, well, I love the book. I had the first edition. I think I'm going to get a second edition as well. This evening has been amazing. This evening is a really uh, a lifelong project of LAN and AOFM come together in a book launch. And it's just been amazing. I've worked with LAN on so many shows and she's such an incredibly talented makeup artist. I feel always... Um, so honored to work with her. She's one of my go-to girls. And what's so great about Lan is she can really look at the collection, see what, what it's about, and really find the essence and bring that into makeup. Did Lan's team do your makeup this evening? Yes, they did. They're all amazing. They've all done a kind of smoky feline thing going on, which we love, so it's all good. All right, so tell us about the, the music you performed this evening. Um, we played three tracks from our album, one of which was Led Zeppelin's Cashmere. Um, which is awesome. We went, we work with Lan on on tour, so it's really lovely to give something back to her because she was awesome with us. How did it feel when you saw the book? I mean, it's it's such high end book, quality oh. book. Tell us what do men think about things like this? Yeah, I mean, I know Lan, and I know her works very high standard. It always has been. I've done a lot of shoots with her, and the results are always fantastic. But this book exceeded my expectations. I was blown away by it. I was like, wow. Each page is like a new campaign. I really, really loved it and I was astounded by it. So hats off to land for all the hard work. And I also have uh, some uh, work I did in the book. Obviously, Lan, uh, Neguyen and Jana have been our inspiration, was our mentors. I'm from South America and um, I've been doing other 
things related to makeup like body painting and airbrushing, but it is only since I joined the academy that I've been able to work in the real world of fashion and editorial. And they just take you under the wing and show you what it's really like to be a makeup artist. You don't really know what it's like to be a makeup artist until you join the academy. Okay, we're here tonight celebrating the book lunch. It's all about makeup. What's your favorite thing about makeup? Contouring. <laughs> Contouring. Do you know how to do it? Uh, a little bit. Cheekbone. Up here. Down there. And I go free. I'm sure you're going to get plenty of tips from the book over there. I hope so. I want to go speak to some of the makeup artists over there soon, actually. So I, I get like really um, greasy bits here and there. Yeah. I heard I should get a primer, but I don't know how that works. So. All right. Me neither. That's why we need to buy the book.